See, that's a picture. Good Saturday morning. My washing machine is spinning. That's getting ready to come out, and that's going to go in. So I was going to do some vlogging yesterday, and um, the reason why I didn't was... Um, I went to the hair salon, I had to be there at 9 o'clock in the morning, and then I stopped over at the Hallmark store, picked up a couple things, which I'll show you in a minute, picked up a couple things, and I knew I wanted to go to Costco yesterday and get my Costco shopping done, because I hadn't been there in about a month. So uh, Harry was going to try to go with me, but when I came home, he wasn't feeling good. He kind of got some sort of sinus thing when we were in Florida. I have it too, but I take the Sudafed, the allergy tabs, and the Mucinex like my doctor tells me to do twice a day. Kept telling Harry to do it. He wouldn't do it until the symptoms started to get bad. And he's sick. Um, he went to bed early last night. And since he went to bed early last night, I got to do a couple things that I didn't get to do yesterday that I was going to have to do today. So even though it was late at night, you know, the house was quiet, Adam was in his room doing whatever, and Harry went to bed. I <clears throat> did a little bit of dusting, and I mopped my floors. So only thing that I have to do today, I need to just dust the wood. and the wood furniture and that sort of thing and I need to finish my laundry and I only had two loads of laundry today but anyway getting back to yesterday so I went to Costco by myself and then when I came home from Costcoing um, it was a little after one o'clock because it takes about a half hour 30 to 35 minutes to drive to my Costco. We have two Costcos and both of them are about the same distance. So anyway, going there and back, right there is just an hour of my time. Then I have to do my shopping. So but anyway, when I came home, it was after 1 p.m., a few minutes after, and I thought, well, since Harry, he had a conference call that he had to take and he wasn't feeling well, so I thought, you know what? Why should I go out this weekend to do my grocery shopping? I'll just head on over to Walmart while I'm out shopping for food. I'll just head on over to Walmart, get all my grocery shopping done <clears throat> so that that's taken care of. And <clears throat> all my shopping is done. I'm good and stocked till hopefully New Year that I won't need to be going back for things. The only thing that I'm going to need, and I'll just send somebody to the store quickly, is to get some buns for sandwiches um, for New Year's Eve. But anyway, so that's why I didn't vlog yesterday, because I was driving and shopping for food, <laughs> it seems like, all day. And then when I came home, I had to put everything away, and I was quite tired. So anyhow, I got my coffee. And look, that's the little, I forget what these things are called. There's a name for them. They have them where they're made out of wood too. And they're very expensive. I was going to get one the last two times I was at Disney World at Epcot. But they're like over a couple hundred dollars for the wood ones. But they have all the little fan paddle things. And when you light the candles, the heat makes it spin. So there's that way and there's that way. And I'm sure if this is against a wall or something, it would make it bright. I've seen that too where they do swirly things and I should probably. Let's see if I can put it over there. Yeah, see? Let me turn the light out and you'll see it more. Hold up. You can see it a little bit. Let me turn this one off too. 
Yeah, see? You can see it spinning back there. Very nice. Okay, lights back on. <laughs> oh, when I went to um, Hallmark, oh, I was so disappointed with myself. I have another Hallmark book that has coupons that expire December the 24th and I took the wrong book. The book that I had was my first book that I got in November and those coupons expired on the, um, I hope I don't have seeds in my teeth, I ate a bagel. <laughs> um, they expired on the 15th. <laughs> I was so bummed out. But I did get a couple things. I got another candle and then all my little buyers and carolers here. Look at this little tyke. Isn't he cute? And he needs help with his lights. He's confused on how to get the lights on the Christmas tree. And he's asking for help. Isn't that cute? So I picked him up. He was only $34. So I got him. And that was pretty much it for my purchases at Hallmark. But when I came home from, let's see, I think it was when I came home from Costco, the male person, it's usually a lady, she must be on vacation because it was a guy this time. Anyway, he pulls up in my driveway and I'm like, oh, I wonder what he's bringing. Then I remembered I was supposed to get a package from Sarah and that's what I got. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look inside the box and see what we got. She says she was going to send lots of snacks. All the food things. Now these are new. I didn't have these last year. We'll see what those are. So there's a few of these. And they're different kinds, so we shall see what that's like. Then, oh, oh, these look like sort of like Rice Krispie treats. Oh, and these are like the peanuts with all the fun rice crackery type snacks. We have those things here too. Not like this, but you know, similar to it here in the States. And I always pick them up. Matter of fact, I have part of a bag of some of them right here. I love them. They are so good. Oh, here's more of these things. And then we have these. I don't know what they are. We will find out. I'll have to do one of my videos that I did last year when I was opening up the snacks and eating them in front of you. That's what I'll have to do because I think that's kind of fun. And let's see. So we got another one of those. And a couple more of these. Oh, here's another one. And then we have, I don't know, but I see a strawberry there. Kind of looks like an ice cream cone. And then my Christmas card. And I have a stocking. Oh, look at that. More snacks. And what's, oh, more snacks. It's, it's a food gift box this year. Because I like that. So let's see what else we have. These are going to be like wafer things. And this is, looks like noodles. Is that fish? That will be for somebody else in my family to try. And what's this? 
Are these like little goldfish type things? I don't know. We'll open them and find out. This is, oh, that's a sea urchin of some sort. Is that octopus? Mm. For the fish lovers in my family. Oh, there's another one. <clears throat> you know who will be good to give those to? And I should get him on camera eating them. Is Josiah. Because the other things that Sarah sent last year that were fishy. Josiah was the one that ate them. And he liked all of them. Except there was one thing that he didn't particularly care for. Carly had some of it too. I'll wait till she comes over too. And I'll let her taste some of it. <laughs> I don't like fish at all. No kinds of fish. Little noodle skin. I won't even eat tuna fish. I won't eat shrimp. I won't. I don't. I don't like fish. No fish at all. The only fish that I like are fish that I see in aquariums or when I see fish swimming in a lake or at the ocean. I like the fish as long as they're in the water where they live. I don't want to eat fish. I'm not a fish eater. But members of my family are. So this will be fun for them. And Harry and Adam love fish, too, so I'll see if I can get them to eat these things, too. But I know Josiah, and possibly Carly, but I know for a fact Josiah will eat these. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, another one of these. Caramel corn. Now I can read that. And it looks like... Is it strawberry caramel corn? That's what it looks like. Anything else? Something else? Oh, something in here. Oh. Gloves. And these are the kind that your fingers can come through. So you're, so like if you're chilly, like if I was out in my garage or outside doing whatever and it's kind of chilly but not freezing cold where I can have my fingers exposed, you know, those kinds of gloves. And that's nice because I don't have a pair of those. So that's nice to have. And I know that they have a lot of these in Japan, I'm sure, because Sarah has told me that their houses over there, they're not heated very well, and they really run by, like, portable heaters, and they're always cold um, in their in their house, and they're bundled up, and they, they wear these gloves. And the schools, they don't turn on the heat hardly at all, and so they're always bundled up in sweaters and jackets, and they have their little gloves. But because you're at home and you're at school, you still have to do work where you need your fingers. So, I'm sure Japan is loaded with gloves like this. So, anyway, thank you, Sarah. Look, it's a little mini grocery haul here. And I'm going to enjoy sampling all of these, except for the fishy ones. But like I said, I'll leave that to the fish eaters in my house. But thank you very much. And I'm going to save my bag. I'll use that for something. And... I'm going to find a place to hang my stocking. Matter of fact, I think I can put it, I can put it like here, here. There we go. Stocking. And I will make sure that I hang it up every year. Thank you, Sarah. I love you. So who remembers this bag? This is the little Christmas gift bag that I got <clears throat> from Hallmark when I went for that VIP open house for Christmas. And look, my whole bag's almost filled with all these little delightful snacks. And so, I will put them over here with all the other Christmas eats that I have. This is a box of pedophores. This is what um, Jenny sent me from Ireland. We got this taffy from Disney World. 
Um, I usually make baklava, but I wasn't going to make this year, so I bought this over at uh, Walmart. But then all these containers, these are all the cookies that I made and candies. And then this is a box of chocolate truffle things from from Swiss Colony because I order from them. And then we have this bag now. When I make a bunch of other things to eat, this chair, I have to move it someplace, and I put a cardboard table up there. Um, and I would have done that, like if I would have done my Christmas baking the second week of December, like I normally do, probably this time last week, I would have put my table up um, just to clear out all of this. But we're a week away from Christmas, so I'm not doing it. And um, I decided I'm not using my dining room for Christmas dinner. I'm going to use the kitchen table for Christmas dinner this year. So anyway, my dining room table has a lot on it. And I just have to quickly share one thing. I just got done reading Sarah's lovely card that she sent to me. Quite meaningful to me, Sarah. Thank you for every word that you wrote. Um, this stocking. She said that she went and bought a pattern. And that she sewed the stocking herself. And she embroidered my name on there. And even if you didn't send me anything but that stocking, Sarah, that is enough for me to have somebody make something for me. That is very, I want to cry, but I'm not going to. That's very touching. That moves my heart. Um, I mean, it's nice when we can buy things for people, but when we go out of our way to make something for somebody, that's even more meaningful. And all the work that she did, and even, you know, embroidering my name and the dove on there, that, that means everything. And that stocking is going to be hung up every year. I don't know if I'll hang it in this place, but I will find a place every year to hang that stocking. So, thank you. I'm making today a jammy day, and I'm trying on my gloves. These are nice. <clears throat> my daughter Carly has a pair of gloves um, that she has the fingers cut out of, but I don't know if she bought them like that or if she just snipped the ends, you know, off so that her fingers would show through because she works uh, in a warehouse environment and her hands get cold. They wouldn't be cold today if she was working because that sun came out. All the snow is melted over here and in the back over there where I showed you there was a lot of snow. You see a little bit of snow now and almost all the snow is gone. And let's go look at the front because the front yard, oh my goodness, the front yard had a bunch of snow. Should have shown the front yard and the neighbor's yards across the street this morning with the snow that was still all over it. And look, green. It's quite warm today and it's going to be even warmer tomorrow. Yuck. Loose. Mommy's going to close. So I'm going to put my card that I got from Sarah over here where I have all the rest of my cards. And I have to say that... <clears throat> I got a lot of lovely cards this year, which I greatly appreciate. I haven't counted how many I have, but you can see there's a nice big stack of cards. I'll have to count them and see how many I got this year. So it's a lazy day today. Harry is going to go get pizza. I told him I'd have Adam pick it up. Harry's starting to feel a little bit better, by the way. He was sick as a dog yesterday and last night and part of this morning, but he came downstairs to get some orange juice and he said that he was feeling better. And I thought maybe he would be feeling better because he was complaining about, you know, uh, sweating a lot. And so I think all that fever and everything that he had was breaking. 
And so, anyway, he said he wanted to get out and go get the pizza later, so um, I'm in my jammies all day today. I finished my dusting. I finished my vacuuming. That's all I really had to do. And my two loads of laundry. That's it. So, my house is nice and tidy and clean. And so, why should I get dressed today, right? I was going to um, do the wood. Oh, Ellie's at the door. I was going to do my wood. I'll do that tomorrow. And on ABC Family, they're showing all Christmas shows. Let's get her in here. Don't know who she's barking at. No, get back. Come on, Ellie. Come on. That's a good girl. Whoops. Here. You were the only one not to get your snack yet. So anyway, I'm just hanging out. I'm going to look through my Christmas cards again. Well, it is Saturday evening. Harry's starting to feel a little bit better, but he decided to go up to bed for the rest of the night. It's only 7.22, so since it's just me, I turned on the 1935 version of Scrooge. And all of that, that are Christmas presents. I hear Brian or Adam up there in the hallway roaming around. So I'll be quiet. So I'm going to wrap Christmas presents and get that out of the way. I was going to do it on Monday, but I decided to do it now. So I'm going to get busy and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. You got antlers on. Do you like those? Lucy tore. No, Lucy, don't tear those off. No, you're tearing the lights off. Don't do that. You're tearing them up. No. Ellie doesn't seem to mind the antlers. Lucy didn't like them. No, look what you did. You cannot tear those apart. No. No, that's not for you to tear apart. Let's see. Chloe didn't have a turn to try them on yet. Let's, let's let Chloe, Chloe try. Here, Chloe. All right, there's Chloe. <laughs> I wanted to buy three pairs of antlers, but they only had one. Chloe, she doesn't seem to like it. Lucy will wear them for a little bit. She likes to take them off. There. There you go, Lou. <laughs> okay, if you're going to tear them up, Mommy has to take them away. Come back here. Let me have those back. Lucy, no, you're not going to tear those apart. Give them to me. Thank you.